Bob Clark, you have our next question. Candidates, a yes or no question for you, or at least give it your best shot, right? Do you believe the election in 2020 was stolen from former President Donald Trump? Mr. Zanetti, you are first. I would say that there's a lot of smoke right now, Bob, and I know you want the yes or no answer, but the, ju the jury is still out, but the evidence is rising that the voter fraud was off the charts, and we deserve answers to these questions. And uh, I'll just say this, we go back but 20 years to the Gore-Bush election, and the Democrats screamed, it was stolen, it was stolen. There was a great investigation. There were all kinds of, uh, well, again, investigations to what happened, because people wanted to have trust in the system. And now the right is saying that, but getting the Heisman Trophy treatment. No, no, you're not even allowed to ask, ask the question. No, it, it's time for a deep dive into voter integrity, and uh, it goes beyond a yes or no answer on this. But smoke is getting thicker. We need to look at this in a very serious way, because without voter integrity, we don't have a republic. Mr. Block. You know, um, this question was not asked in 2018 to Michelle Lujan Grisham, a Democrat, about the 2016 election. Um, you know, now we see, now we see that this whole uh, Russia, Russia, Russia collusion was a complete lie where Hillary Clinton's attorney is, is facing criminal charges. So for us to look back uh, and to focus on a 2020 election is wrong because yes, there are, we need voter integrity. And I, and I will put forward a voter ID bill and voter integrity bill in the state of New Mexico because we need it. And I'm working on eliminating some drop boxes in Sandoval County. I'm the only commissioner fighting, I'm the only candidate for governor fighting for this right now. But I am more focused on the atrocious record of the governor, the record of the worst education system, one of the, the worst states uh, rated to live in by US News. Uh, high crime, high unemployment, uh, an awful tax code that stifles businesses. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's just one of those questions that people don't really uh, care about because it doesn't put food on their table. We have record high inflation. We should be talking about that. But in 2018, you guys never asked um, Congresswoman Grisham at the time if the 2016 election was stolen. We had to live through that for four years. So I think we got to look forward to the issues now that affect New Mexicans. Rebecca Dow, you are next. Yeah, so if you haven't watched 2000 Mules, you probably should. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and it's, I think that we'll go down in history showing that there is widespread election fraud across the United States, and that without that election fraud, then Donald Trump would be the president, would have been reelected. And so I believe in election integrity. We need it to be easy to vote and hard to cheat voter ID and one vote for one legal citizen. Whatever it takes to secure that needs to happen moving forward. People need to have confidence in our elections. Ms. Maharg, your reply, please. I was going to say the same thing. Watch 2000 Mules if you want to understand what took place in the, in the 2020 election, because there's definitely proof that there was fraud and it's lots of it. And they also showed that New Mexico was a big part of it. And so um, I guess my short answer is I, I do believe that it was stolen. I think that it was wrong and we need to correct it. We need to have voter ID. We need to have uh, paper ballots. I think we should go back to that. And then, you know what? I'm asking everybody vote on June 7th and in person. If you want to stop this corruption and this crime, vote in person and vote on June 7th so that you do not, you know, you can at least uh, stop some of that because we know that the Dominion machines are still out there and they're still doing what it is that they're going to do. But this will mitigate some of that. So go watch 2000 Mules, though. Boy, it'll make your jaw drop. And Mr. Ron Ketty. You know what will also make your jaw drop? Watch Santa Fe and watch what this governor tried to do this last session. You want to talk about enshrining cheating. That's what this governor tried to do with her election bill. What did she do with it? What did she try to do? Tried to allow 16 year olds to vote, felons to vote, to send out paper ballots to anybody in perpetuity going year after year. And even worse than that, we end our election day on Tuesday night and she was going to propose that we continue to count ballots into Friday. What we have to look at here is people that are trying to just tick away at the integrity of our elections and that's exactly what this governor has done so the minute we get into office what we want to do is number one bring in a one-line voter bill up in front of the legislature and say it's very simple to vote in the state of new mexico you must show a valid id 
And we have 77% of the people in this state who agree with that. Yet we have a legislature who wants to go the other way, which is pretty much the way they operate. So does the way this governor operates as well. And it's not only that. We need to make sure that it is easy to vote for everyone who wants to vote here. And as we push forward over the next couple of years, we need to make sure that we do everything we can to make it difficult to cheat. Because if you take away the confidence of your elections, you take away the confidence of the electorate to feel like their vote matters. And that's the direction we're headed in.